is Rose Quartz, Carnelian, which I already own, but I fell for it again, and Rose Gold. You can even try these as highlighters, they're such creamy powders. This is where it gets very NARS heavy because I've been researching things for ages and finally took the plunge on a bunch of products and shades. A few of their multiple sticks first. Alice was a pretty sheer poppy red from their Charlotte Gainsbourg collab. One of my favourite bloggers, Lucy Williams, uses this and I just want to have what she has, basically. Then Exumus is an opaque, bright, corally orange, great for summer to fake a sun kiss glow. And Marika is a great green with pink, brown and blue. You can probably double over this bronze very well. Some matte powder products now. I love their huge range of blush shades and this is great for detail. Because I probably use more on my eyes than my face as a pretty no pink shadow. Their single eyeshadow in New York is one I've read about for years. This dark purple shade would just be really easy to wear as a light wash or a darker look at night. Then, Persia, the punchiest deep orange I think I've ever seen. Obsessed with this in the face. Check out my orange eyeshadow video if you'd like to see more. I rate the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils very highly, and I've had my eye on a few for ages. This is a new duo, they're a great way to try them for the first time. Dan and Valkyrie put some of my favourite tones in them. Or dark nude. Oops. Boomy Baby is a purpley nude I've always loved the look of, and I've been getting heaps of wear out of this at work. Then Bahama, which is actually very similar, but it's a dark nude I'll reach for a lot. Such similar shades. Whoops. Two quick Urban Decay bits. Haven't ever tried their eyeshadow primer potion, but I've heard great things, so I grabbed this mini while I was in the pocket line. Classic, always good. Then the 24 7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Alkaline, which I actually saw a makeup artist use as a vampy lip liner and it looks amazing. I put a link to the photo below. One of our Aussie models, Rachel Fish, wore it with a lovely pale pink dress and I just love that color. Mecha Maxima launched their own in house makeup brand late last year and I grabbed the Double Vision Eyeshadow in Tuscan Sun. Again, it's featured in my Rude Eyeshadow video and I love that one side is a powder and the other is a dewy cream shadow. So, skincare to finish. I don't know how I hadn't tried this Mario Badescu facial spray before, given I love everything rose water, but it is definitely really affordable in this size. Very refreshing when I have a day, after exercise, or after working the I tried a sample of the Kate Somerville Exfolicate a while ago, and was really impressed by how smooth my skin felt, so I got them in the size to fit right here. Also happens to be one of Meghan Markle's favorite products. Mecca are so good to their customers. They often have little rewards boxes and gifts, which is just another reason to like this store. When a new store opened in my city last October, I played the Lucky Dip they had on opening day, and I got a full-size Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer in Sun Glow. What about the $70? Might be a bit bronze for my skin tone, but certainly nice to add to check on. Mecca has a loyalty program called Beauty Loop. Who likes a four of the IV? And there are three levels. Four times a year they release little boxes with testers, but they went all out for their 20th anniversary and we all got full-size products. About $70 of value in here again. These are Mecca Cosmetica products, their other in-house brand. A tinted lip delicious thick and creamy lip balm and their Lip From Within Illuminating Drops, a gold cream highlighter that you could also use as an illuminating base. Somehow the gifting didn't stop there. Every Beauty Loop member gets a birthday gift each year. One year I got my favourite Mecca Sunscreen there to save face of the 50 is incredible. But this year in November I got to try their Lip From Within Illuminating Primer. Then there is a fresh bell or probably back in one more or two five years. And the All Set Makeup Protections. I'm going to set my makeup actually, so this would be really handy to stop everything sliding off the side. This 43 degree the other day. I hope that's given you a bit of a teaser of what's available at Mecca and in other stores at the moment. Definitely recommend dropping in if you're on holiday way down here in Australia. By the way, major colour move going on here, isn't there? I'd love to hear if you've picked up anything recently and if there's something new on your top shelf that you've been loving so far in the movie. See you next time. Sephora Australia. This is another cumulative haul and actually a two-parter. First lot of products I bought about six months ago in Melbourne, so you might have seen a couple of them sneak into videos already, and the others I bought a few weeks ago in Sydney. I don't have Sephora Australia in my city, so I've been saving a few things on the list. Something terrible just happens to me on holiday and all of the things that I don't actually need suddenly seem like a really good idea. To anyone else? Hope you don't mind these slightly delayed hauls. I prefer to do it this way so I can actually give you a bit of info about the products rather than just being like, I got this! I'm now doing no buy February and March to make up for all of my skincare and makeup sins. Let's get into it. 
First up, the Fenty Beauty Killer Watt Highlighter in Beauty Beauty Mock Factory. This was initially the only thing that appealed to me from this line, but as you'll see a few months later, I went back for more. It's a very pretty, shimmery pink highlighter that I've seen used as an eyeshadow and it looked great. I'll show you more in a Fenty Beauty review tomorrow. The Burberry Face Contour Pens got a mention in my Into the Gloss Top 25 video last week. A great, easy contour if you're a bit scared of it or only want to do it in a subtle way. Having said that, this shade Dark is obviously not subtle on me, but I only use it as an eyeshadow. It blends beautifully and creates a really nice and natural looking shadow in your face. I'm a huge fan of Burberry lipsticks. I'll be doing a Burberry Beauty brand review soon actually. Some of you requested it and I use it a lot for their products. Their lip velvets are one of my favourites and this shade Dark Nude had completely stuck past me. Never heard of it, but it's exactly what I'm into at the moment. A rich brownie matte nude. Almost a bit of a brick tone to it too. A couple of bits from Becca now. Their beach sheet in watermelon was something I saw a makeup artist use on both cheeks and eyes and it looks so good. I'll try to find the photo and leave it linked below. I love how sheer and lightweight this formula is. I have my eye on the shade pink now too. The Becca Jaclyn Hill Shimmering Skin Perfector Slim Light in Champagne Pop. It rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? I love little highlighting pens like this to do my inner corners every morning to make me look more awake. It's a nice champagne gold shade. The Dior Blush Colour and Light Stick in 001 Plum Shimmer might have been one of my favourite products of late last year. This featured in my travel makeup bag video for its multitasking abilities, double-ended cream blush and highlighter. That plum shade might be too dark for me, but it blends out really nicely, and people always ask what it is when I smudge it on as an eyeshadow too. Kat Von D. I've heard a lot of good things about her tattoo liner, and I need all the help I can get in that department. This has a tiny, fine black applicator, which will be great for getting me right in close to the The metal plush eyeshadow in raw power featured in my red shadow video. I love how that is the pretty thing. Swipe once for an almost coppery tone, subtle look, although nuts for the most shimmery, rich, dark red look all over the lid. A bit of a brush brush up now. The Zoeva 110 Face Shape Brush is one Lisa Eldridge uses a lot to create a flawless face. I wanted to give it a go to any concealer on spot. The 24 Luxe Smoky Shader Brush will be a great one for patting on colour if you're wanting to build a more intense eye look. 25 Luxe Eye Blender Brush is nearly a MAC 214 juice. That's my favourite style of brush for applying shadow all over the lid. Then the 228 Luxe Crease Brush will be perfect for sweeping a wash of colour through the face. So I still have to do time now, or a few weeks ago in the at least, and I topped up on a few bits starting with Fenty Beauty. At the time, more things from this brand just start to look like a bit of fun to try. Very excited to start using these. I'll go through everything in more detail in tomorrow's video, but for now, here's a sneak peek at the shades after. Finally, I was so excited to see the Bite Beauty multi sticks in store. So many people recommended them and you weren't wrong. I loved them so much, I went back and got two more the next day. I grabbed Brioche, Cashew, Almond and Cerise and a proper review video will be coming soon. The Burberry Fresh Glow Highlighting Luminous Pen in 01 Nude Radiance is my favourite highlighter. I bought the Becca Slim Light a few months ago because this one's always sold out but I finally found another one. A really natural looking subtle glow. Hearing the Laura Mercier caviar stick in burnished bronze mentioned. Maybe that could some blue or tiny blur, so I wanted to give it a go. I'm a big believer in shadow sticks. I'll be doing a product car video on them this year, and this smooth bronze with a hint of pink is a welcome addition to the game.